girl patched me up, put me on her shoulder, and blasted her way through the rest of the complex. Synths everywhere. Carrying you the whole time? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? Every word he said was true. And then some. A full hundred. I... I can't even imagine. See? Just like I said, boss. I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane not to sign her up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about, or lied about, anyone so highly before. Welcome to the railroad, Agent. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now we need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? Have any suggestions? No. It doesn't work like that. Your life, your name, your choice. Call me Charmer. Charmer? Hm. Fitting. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. The location of our HQ is one of our most tightly guarded cities. Excuse me. Welcome to the family. We're a colorful and arguably insane bunch. But you're stuck with us now. Speaking of which, if you don't mind a sidekick, let's keep a good thing going and travel together some more. Let's go then. I'm all ready to go. There's something you're keeping from me, Deacon. If I find out what it is and I don't like it, there will be hell to pay. Well, good thing I have nothing to hide then. Paladin. Ready to continue our mission, soldier? Ready. Roger that. You want to travel with him? Okay. Just watch your back. That's an interesting warning coming from someone who dabbles in manipulation and subterfuge. Hey, Rook. The name's Drummer Boy. It's my envious job to keep track of all the dead drops, and grab incoming agents, and tell them where they're needed. I don't suppose you want to switch places. That can be an important job. Yeah, right. I can be replaced by a stupid chalkboard. We'll be seeing each other. A lot. This is it. It may lack the amenities of the switchboard. But it's safe, and we've taken precautions not to be surprised again. If you keep boarding that garbage, you're going to slow us down. Desdemona told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this, but that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training, and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with her second-in-command, but what's done is done. <sighs> Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. Tell me what you need, Doc. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth. H222. 
So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. Paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. Sounds like an important mission. It is. After switchboard, we're so short. The dead drop, it's a common means. When you make contact with the current side... Uh -huh. You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. You sound rather convincing, actually. Stockton is a prominent businessman. Bunker Hill. Mm -hmm. Use the escape time. Uh -huh. We're all the synths got. Glad you signed on. Means I might get to take the occasional night off. Glory. Hey, you. So the switchboard was crawling with bad guys. Lines and shit, too. Any of that true? Or was Deacon bullshitting me again? I didn't do it alone. But, yeah. That's about the size of it. That's hardcore. How'd you take down the old HQ? Please tell me you didn't go along with Deacon's in and out like a ghost crap. With a whole lot of bullets and a whole lot of blood. Fortunately, the blood wasn't mine. That's how you do it. Well, welcome to the party. After what happened to Tommy Whispers, we need another tough son of a bitch that can get shit done. Thanks for inviting me. We should... I don't know. Pick a cake? Cause that's what you do, right? They call me Glory. The Angel of Death. The ass-kicking poster child of a liberated synth. I like it. It's not to like. You're helping out my people. So some advice? Kiss up to Tinker Tom. He's batshit crazy, but he's got all the good stuff. Sounds like a good plan. You know it. You take care out there. It's not an easy road you've chosen, but you're never alone in this. Yourself. <clears throat> Tinker Tom's cooking up something. I hope it goes better than last time. You from one of those vaults? You got too many teeth to be a scab. There's more going on than you know. Trust me. I went through a sensor sweep. You need anything? What do you have in stock? It changes depending on what's on hand. Uh, we lost everything when the switchboard went lights out. Hopefully, our agents score more supplies in the field so me and my boys can, you know, make even more toys. You want to see what we got? I'll take a look. Made a new batch of whatnots for it. That, uh, that was a joke. By the way, I'm just wondering if you didn't really mean it. And if the Brotherhood is listening, I'm sure you're very nice. Please don't kill me. Elton Britt is next with a song that, well, frankly, it sounds very irresponsible. Uranium fever. 
Working with compartmentalized information is a difficult transition for new agents. Bet you never met a synth before Gloria. I suppose you're here for my medical services. Let's see what's wrong with you today. Recalibrating using new data set. Calculated. That's a strange way to say hello. Temporarily unable to process verbal input. 